hello super mobile fans like i emphasized in my last video there has been a lot of confusion on social media as to whether the 2gb ram version of the osis pro is the osis what i want to inform you guys is that the osis pro is totally different from the osis and i made a video to share with you guys the physical and internal differences between the osis pro and osis smartphones kindly check the description below for the link to that video the Hot 6 was officially launched to the market few days ago and here is my unboxing and first impressions about the Hot 6 and Hot 6 Lite which is the 1GB RAM version of Hot 6. First of all, let us take a close look at the yellow box design of the Hot 6. You can see the pictures of the red color Hot 6 smartphone just like it is in the Hot 6 Pro box and also the Hot 6 name written at the sides just like the Hot 6 Pro box also. Even its brand has always done well in the presentation of their products at first sight because the truth is most people love to buy a smartphone that has an attractive and classy design packaging and the Hot 6 package box is actually attractive and this also tells the customer how elegant the phone inside the box will be. Looking at the back of the box we have the main specifications which are the 18 to 9 aspect ratio HD plus infinity display with dual speakers with direct 3D stereo surrounding 4000 mAh battery which if finished claims to last up to 2 days on light usage it has a 30 megapixel real single camera and a 5 megapixel selfie camera fingerprint sensor and the XOS user interface the back design of the Hot 6 box is also similar to the Hot 6 Pro box Unboxing the Hot 6, you first see the Hot 6 with the screen covered with colorful paper sticker just like the Hot 6 Pro smartphone. You can see the finished logo on the top followed by the Hot 6 logo with the team slogan Play It Live which I think talks about its dual surround speaker sound quality. You also see the 18 to 9 aspect ratio infinity display, the direct 3D stereo surrounding, 4000 mAh battery size, is 13 megapixel pack camera and 5 megapixel selfie camera. Under the phone, we have a white package which contains a plastic screen protector, user manual, and warranty card. Unfortunately, there is no silicon gel case in the Hot 6, which is kind of weird and surprising because the Hot 6 Pro comes with a silicon jelly case. And lastly, at the bottom, we have the charger, USB cable, earphones, and the SIM tray injector pin. This would have been a complete package like the Osis Pro, except there is no silicon jelly case protector in the Hot 6. Moving on to the Osis smartphone, at the right side we have the power button which is different from the Hot 6 Pro's right side which contains only the power button and volume buttons. At the left side of the Hot 6 we have the volume buttons which is also different from the Hot 6 Pro left side which contains only the same trace slot instead. At the top we have nothing and so at the bottom we have the headphone jack, microphone, USB port, type B and speaker just like the Hot 6 Pro. At the front side it has a 6 inches HD plus infinity display screen although we can still see some bezels. On top of the display you see the notification LED light, proximity sensor, core receptor and speaker and finally the dual LED selfie flash which is unique because the Osis Pro has a single LED selfie flash. Below the display we have nothing except a giant bezel in a supposed bezel-less display smartphone. At the back side, starting from below, there is no iPhone-like antenna design on the Hot 6 but there is on the Hot 6 Pro. Moving up, we have the fingerprint scanner and then finally we have the single 30 megapixel rear camera with dual LED flash unlike the Osis Pro which is dual camera. At the very top, there is no iPhone-like antenna design but the Osis Pro has this design which makes it look more classy and the Hot 6 look less classy. Moving on to the full specifications of the Hot 6. As said earlier, it comes with the 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel selfie camera, dual speakers with the support of direct 3D stereo surrounding, 6 inches HD plus native display, 4000 mAh battery. Unlike the Hot 6 Pro that comes with the Snapdragon 425 quad-core processor, the Hot 6 comes with the MediaTek 6580 quad-core processor, which is 40% less powerful than the Snapdragon 425 processor. The Hot 6 comes in two variants which is the 1GB RAM with 16GB ROM and 2GB RAM with 16GB ROM. I call the 1GB RAM variant the Hot 6 Lite. The Hot 6 comes with Android 8.1 Oreo. The Hot 6 also comes in the same colors as the Hot 6 Pro except for the gold color which is blush gold in Hot 6 
and a magic gold or champion gold color for the Aussie Pro. Also, regardless of the back color of the Aussie 6, the front view color still remains black, unlike the Aussie Pro that remains white color at the front, except for the red color and black color variant. For my first impressions about the Aussie 6 smartphone, the Philips brand has been doing great in the price to specification ratio, that is, you get a good phone at an affordable price. The Aussie's price is just $105 for the 1GB RAM variant and $115 for the 2GB RAM variant which is ok. It is quite disappointing that the Aussie's Pro does not come with the dual speaker surround sound system but I guess it's a market strategy for those who love the dual speakers feature to buy the Aussie 6 instead of everybody buying the Aussie's Pro. The body build and design of the Aussie 6 is quite good and also comfortable to hold because of the compact infinity screen. The Aussie's coming with the Android 8 Oreo operating system is quite good. Thumbs up to Phoenix for always giving fans the latest possible technology at the best price. I also love the shiny material in the back camera the compartment. I also love that it has eye care mode for good night reading. I am also waiting for the first Infinix smartphone with the Apple notch display. Here are some pictures taken by the Infinix Hot 6 smartphone. They look okay for the price, what do you think? And here is also a good picture taken by the Oasis Pro. I would love to especially thank these guys for their help in making this video possible. If you are from Uganda, you can kindly call these numbers to order your Infinix Oasis or any other Infinix products. Or you can go to these addresses to see for yourself before buying. So that was it guys. Do you prefer the Oasis to the Oasis Pro? Let me know what you think. As for me, I will go for the OS6 instead of the OS6 Pro because I love good quality surround sound in a smartphone and the OS6 has the 3D direct surround dual speaker sound. Also, I like dual selfie flash in the OS6 and finally the OS6 is cheaper and I don't mind using a MediaTek processor. Thanks so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. It means a lot. Talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Infinix is more than brand, it's a family. Infinix. The future is now.